Unfortunately, it's been a violent start to the new year. Baton Rouge police are looking into these several different shootings that have all happened since Monday. One of them left a teenager dead. We've got team coverage on this. Gabrielle Mercurio has a look at how the community is already responding. But first, let's start with Elise Corville in the Alert Center to explain how we got here. Elise. Now, the Baton Rouge Police Department are looking into three separate shootings since Monday. We're told in all the shootings left two dead and four hurt. Less than 24 hours after ringing in the new year, Baton Rouge Police Department began investigating the first homicides of 2024. Monday afternoon, detectives say 14s were walking down West Brookstown Drive when someone started firing shots at them from a car. 15-year-old Ramid Cozy died at the scene. The other victims were taken to a local hospital. It's an unfortunate thing that's happened. It's not only the victim the, themselves that are affected, it's the families that are affected. We have learned Cozy was a freshman at Estruma High. The East Baton Rouge Parish School System said in a statement, quote, this senseless tragedy has left a void in our hearts as we begin the process of grieving and healing, end quote. We're also told that grief counselors will be on campus when classes resume. BRPD Lieutenant LG McNeely says the other teenagers hurt in the shooting are working with detectives, something he says is beneficial to solving cases like this. We have some bit of information that we have uh, gathered from the victims. They there are specific altercations that are occurring between various groups. Uh, this was not, I repeat, was not a random shooting. Just hours later, police say someone fired a gun into a home on Sherwood Street, sending glass flying. We're told a minor inside the home was hurt by the debris. Our a major sauce division, they're working that particular case, reaching out to the neighbors, uh, asking if they have uh, uh, surveillance. Uh, security cameras at their house and we're going to use all those resources in an effort to find uh, what we can. Unfortunately, the violence did not end there. Tuesday morning, detectives say they found a woman shot to death in her front yard on Main Street near Laurel. Lieutenant McNeely says although these shootings are not related to one another, one thing can help detectives in any case. He says cameras help them solve crime. So it's very important to use the tools uh, that we have or that you have available to us and giving us the evidence that we can use in building the case and holding those persons responsible. If you think you may have something that can help detectives in any of these cases, you're always asked to call Crime Stoppers.